let's take a look at how to compare area and perimeter of two figures. Which figure has a greater perimeter? Okay, well, when you do perimeter for a rectangle, you can either use the formula 2 times the length plus 2 times the width, or you can mark the side lengths on the diagram and just add up all four sides. Because remember, the sides opposite from each other always have to be congruent to each other. Okay, so in this case, this is a square. All four sides are two kilometers. And in this rectangle, the side of five kilometers would be opposite a side of five kilometers. And a side of one kilometer would be opposite a side of one kilometer. So again, you could either use that formula or you can simply add up the four sides. So here, if I just wanted to add up my four sides, I would say, okay, 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 2 is 6, plus another 2 is 8. Or four sides that are all 2 kilometers, 4 times 2 is 8, right? Either way, I wanted to think about that. Now, for this one, if I add up the four sides, 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11, plus the other one is 12. Okay, so... This red rectangle has a larger perimeter because its perimeter is 12 kilometers. The square has a perimeter of 8 kilometers. And I should put those units on our answers. Let's put km for kilometers. Okay, which figure has a greater perimeter? Well, again, we know if these are rectangles that the opposite sides are congruent. So here, if I add up all the sides of my green rectangle, 5 and 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11, plus another one is 12. So this has a total perimeter, right, the distance around all four sides, of 12 millimeters. Okay, well, opposite sides are congruent here as well. So if the top is 3 millimeters, so is the bottom. And if the right is 2 millimeters, so is the left. Okay, well, 3 plus 2 is 5, plus another 3 is 8, plus another 2 is 10. So this one would have a perimeter of 10 millimeters. Okay, well, 12 millimeters is more than 10 millimeters, so our green rectangle has the larger or greater perimeter. Okay, well, this one, now we could do... We could do the whole problem and add up all four sides, but what's going to be bigger? Adding 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 or 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1? Obviously, four sides of 2 is going to be larger than two sides of 2 and two sides of 1 meter. So in this case, I can see, just based on the side length, since the 2s are the same, that my purple one is going to have a greater or larger perimeter. Okay, following that same idea here, notice that my blue and green rectangles have a height of 3 centimeters, but the blue one has a width of 4, whereas the green is only 2. So this one is going to have a much larger perimeter. When I add 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3, that's going to be bigger than adding 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3. And notice they're both in centimeters, right? The units are the same. So our larger rectangle is going to have the greater perimeter. Okay, which figure has a greater perimeter? Okay, well for a triangle I'm just going to add up my three sides, right? So 4 plus 4 plus 2. In this case, okay, 4 and 4 is 8 plus 2 gives me 10. So this one has a perimeter or a distance around the entire outside of 10 centimeters. For the one on the right, if I add up my three sides, 3 plus 2 plus 4 centimeters. Well, 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 4 is 9. So this one is just a little bit smaller at 9 centimeters. So since they asked me for the greater perimeter, that would be the one on the left. Okay, so remember for any shape, you can find the perimeter by adding up all of the side lengths. 
So in this case, I would add up my two side lengths of six plus my two side lengths of five. Okay, well six and six is 12, five and five is 10. So when I put that all together, that's gonna be a perimeter of 22 centimeters. Okay, this one has two side lengths of four and two side lengths of five. So already you can see that this one is gonna be smaller because four plus four only gives me eight, five and five is 10. So this one is only gonna have a perimeter of 18 centimeters. Okay, so the greater or bigger perimeter would be the one on the left. Which figure has a greater perimeter? Okay, well in this case, notice they both have sides on the left and right that are five kilometers. The pink one has sides on the top and bottom that are eight kilometers. The yellow one has top and bottom of six. So if they're the same sides, but two of the sides are the same, right? These all, these are all five, these sides are all congruent. Well, this is gonna be bigger because when I add two eights to that, that's gonna be bigger than adding two sixes. So without even working the entire perimeter out, I can see that the kind of pink violet looking shape is going to have a greater perimeter. Okay, well, which figure has a greater perimeter? So notice these two are five meters, these two are also five meters. But this one has another two five meters and this has another two sides that are seven meters. So if I add seven plus seven plus five plus five, that's gonna be greater than five plus five plus five plus five. 